Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in. This is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and I'm back again with another Tableau tip today on how to add labels on stack bar chart. Labeling the top of stack bar chart might seem tricky at first, but in this video, I'll be sharing with you all two simple methods to achieve this. So let's get started. First of all, we will connect to Sample Superstar data set by just clicking on the data and selecting Sample Superstar data set. To begin with, we need to create a stack bar chart first. So in this case, I will bring categories to column shelf and we'll bring sales to row shelf. And we will see three bars created for furniture, office supplies and technology and it's showing you the sales number. In order to create a stack bar chart, in this case, I will bring region into the color mark shelf and you will see three stack bars are created in this case. And I want to label the top of each bar with the total sales value. So for example, furniture, I want to show here 750 grams. How can I achieve that? So there are two simple methods. So the first method is by right clicking on the axis and creating a reference line. So we will select add reference line here. And in this case, we will select the scope to pursue and we will change the value of sum of sales and move it to sum and change the label to value. And you will see here the numbers are already appearing on the top of the each bar. And in terms of formatting, we don't want to show the line, so I will select it to none. And also we don't want to show recalculated lines for highlighted or selected data points, so I will uncheck that as well. We just click OK. You will see these labels are created at the top of each bar. We can also format it by just hiding the header and we can right click on these ones and do the formatting here. And we don't want the shading to appear to show these lines so I will change the opacity to zero person. And in terms of numbers, I want to show the currency and to zero decimal places and I want to show the display unit as thousands. And now you will see these are all left aligned. This is because by default, the reference line labels are already aligned onto the left hand side. So we have to go to alignment section and change it to center. See, it appears nice and clean in the center of each bar at the top of the each bar. So that's, that's the first method. And we can do the same thing we can achieve the same results by another method. So how we can do that? So let's create a bar chart, stack bar chart again. So I will bring the category to column shelf, sales to row shelf, bring the region to color section. And in this case now, I will simply press control key and drag the sum of sales onto the same row shelf. And you will see another pale green pill created in the row shelf. So I'm trying to create a dual axis in this case. So I will just select the drop down menu, change it to dual axis, and I will synchronize the axis. So both of the axes are synchronized and show the same sales value. And I will change the bar ch chart type from circle to bar chart. And in the second section, which is sum of sales here, I will change it to can bar and you will see three lines appear in each of these three bars. And I will then remove the region from the color shelf because I just want to see the top of the bar. And we are showing this using that bar and you will see the gray line appear at the top of each bar. And that's basically for showing the total sales value for each bar. So I will just enable the labels here. And we can see it appear at the top of each bar we can do the labeling and we can also change the formatting here and I want to see the value in dollars without any decimal place and display unit to thousand and here you go nice and simple and we can do a little more a little bit of more editing by removing the headers and that's pretty much it 
I hope you guys enjoyed this session and for more such tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.